So today I'm going to show you guys how to create a USB install media for macOS 10.12. Uh, first thing you need to do is to go into the App Store and download the operating system. Once you're here, just click on macOS Sierra. And up here, normally it will show up as download. So just click on the download button right there but since I already have it mine downloaded it shows up as install now make sure that you have to install Mac OS Sierra on the launch pad before we can proceed next you're gonna need to get a flash drive with at least a gigabyte uh, the one I'm using is 16 gigabyte go ahead and plug it in and then we're gonna format the drive gonna open up this utility here we're gonna find our USB drive select it and then click on erase here you want to change the name to USB all capital and you can leave everything else on default and then click on erase next step you're gonna need this terminal command which I will include in the video description but I'm also gonna show you where I got it from you're gonna right click and copy this and then paste it onto the terminal Just paste it, press enter, and then enter your user password. From here on out, it takes about 45 minutes for me. So, just gonna have to wait. While we're waiting, we can go ahead and download the necessary files for the next step. After you're done downloading it, you're just gonna open up the finder and then find the file you just downloaded and then extract it by double clicking on it. Next, you're gonna copy everything that's inside the folder into the USB drive, as you can see here. Just highlight everything and then copy and paste it over. After everything copied over, you're going to run Clover Configurator. And this one is a little tricky because if you try to double click on it and run it, it won't work. As you can see here. Uh, in order for it to run, you have to right click and then click open. Once it's available, you're going to click on check partition and we're going to find the USB drive. Here you can see that we have two hard drives, one virtual drive, and the last one should be our USB drive, which is disk 3. And you can see, you can tell that's a USB drive because of the size right there, 16 gigabyte. Now 
that we know our USB drive is disk 3, we're gonna click on mount EFI partition. partition on your desktop. Uh, you can close that and over here and then open up the EFI and the install Mac OS Sierra folder and here you're going to copy the EFI folder into the EFI partition. down F12 while it's booting up and then choose the USB drive. And once it gets to the bootloader, you might not have as many hard drives shown here, but just select the one with the yellow USB icon. So, so in my case it's all the way to the right. Give it about 10 or 15 minutes because this steps here takes a while. 